day everyone. My name is Okasonya Precious Chidebube and I developed an application by name Smart Hospital. This application is a freelancing medical um, application I developed where a medical personnel or medical personnel can sign up and then be able to provide medical assistance and medical help for patients. And also patients can also sign up and then be able to assess medical attention on the comfort of their home. Now this application was developed with uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript for the front end and then Bootstrap for the responsiveness. And for the server side, which is the back end, I used Python with Flask as my framework. So the motivation behind this application is that oftentimes patients lose their life as a result of them not being attended to when they go to uh, our normal local hospitals because of too many protocols. So but with the help of this application which I developed, patients can be able to assess medical attention easily. So a brief uh, walkthrough of my application it's this is the the landing page of the application here and then uh, can be able to view so there are reviews if any patient make uh, a review for the for a doctor or personnel you can be able to see them here this application has three parts the patient side the personnel side and also the admin login so briefly, I want to walk us through, first of all, the admin side of the application. So, I'm going to sign, up, sign in as an admin. So, I've logged in as an admin. Now, on this admin page, landing page, you will see the admin can be able to see all patients over here and also be able to view their individual um, profiles. So when the admin clicks on details, can be able to view all the patient's details here. So also, the admin can also be able to view all personnel registered on the platform. The admin can be able to view all financial transactions that has happened on the platform. Now coming to this medical personnel um, side, over here you can see already two uh, registered personnel one is verified the other one is no kyc entry meaning that the this particular patient this particular um, doctor dr kate has not been able to um, uh, upload her certificates for verification so and also the admin can also view their individual details so dr kate her specialization is cardiology and then these are all the necessary details that Dr. Kate provided. Then, now let's um, log in as Dr. Kate so that we can be able to um, verify Dr. Kate. All right, this is Dr. Kate's dashboard. This is her profile picture. These are all the necessary details that Dr. Kate provided, her address, her gender, her specialization, state and local government, and also the date of registration, everything is provided here. Now, over here, let me briefly walk us through the uh, Dr. Kate's um, dashboard. Dr. Kate can be able to view all of the, okay, this is her, his KYC. Now, before I walk through, through the other aspects, Dr. Kate cannot be able to do anything on this platform without being verified. That is why if I try to assess my recent appointments, it takes me back to the verification page. And then you will see uh, a message, you need to be verified to assess this page. And also please verify your account by uploading your license. And so let's, um, and then the license format, that's the picture format that is accepted here is a JPG, PNG, and then JPEG. So let's upload a certificate. So right here, Dr. Kate has um, uploaded a, a, a certificate for KYC and then over here close to her name you will see pending and then you say please kindly wait, confirmation is ongoing. Now when a confirmation is ongoing, Dr. Kate cannot be able to upload further uh, anything again. So let's try to see what happens when she tries to re-upload 
her certificate again. So when she tries to re-upload her certificate again, you see, it will write um, a KYC has, has already been submitted and can be re-uploaded again. So from the admin side, the admin will be able to view and see. You see over here, before I refresh, over here it says no KYC entry. So but Dr. Dr. Kate has, has um, uploaded her certificate. So let's um, refresh. So you see that because there is um, a KYC being made, so uh, is, is, is showing pending here. So if it is pending, the admin can be able to view the certificate being uploaded and then for now merge it with the license number she provided upon registration. And so if you check the license number here, so if it tallies with what she provided, then the admin can be able to, to certify um, Dr. Kate and then approve Dr. Kate. You see, the KYC has been successfully approved. Now, Dr. Kate can now be able to assess other functionalities in her dashboard. So if I click on refresh, if I refresh this page, you see that Dr. Kate KYC successfully is successful and then verified has come up here. Now, um, let me now walk us through the dashboard. So here, Dr. Kate can be able to view, click on view all reviews, all the reviews that she have had from her um, patients and then can be able to see all financial transactions being made to her can be able to also view um, recent appointments, declined appointments, approved appointments, and also um, all the whole appointment history. So for now, Dr. K doesn't have any of such appointments. So let's log in as a patient, and then I'll walk you through the patient dashboard, and also then we will now see, and also we're going to book appointments and then know how it works. So I'm logging in as So this is a a patient who needs a medical attention and so um the name is Mr. Nat, and then Mr. Nat needs a medical attention. Now, let me briefly walk us through uh, uh, the patient's dashboard. The patient can be able to upload his or her lab result here. So let's um uh, quickly do that. and then provide a, a detailed test about the lab result. So it has been uploaded successfully and also it can be able to provide medical histories about himself. So let's say I was having headache. And it is, let's say, chloroquine. And then let's say paracetamol. All right, you see, he has been able to provide his uh, medical history. Now, let's let him search for a personnel. Now, if he searches for a personnel that we don't have or that has not been uh, registered on the platform, then you see, he said no result found because there's no such personnel on the platform. So, but let's search for cardiology and uh, so here you see Dr. Kate appeared and then Dr. Kate's specialization is cardiology and then we can be able to, if Dr. Kate have uh, any review, previous review from her past patients, we will see it here and then view more, to view more of Dr. Kate, can be able to see that, okay, her name is Dr. Kate from Adamawa State and she's a female and she's an approved uh, doctor on the platforms. This will give the patients confidence. They can be able to now click uh, book appointments and then book appointments. So, upon submitting, you see that appointment successfully booked. So now let's go over to um, Dr. Kate's um, dashboard and see doc when Dr. Kate tries to assess her recent appointments, then you see that uh, uh, Nat that booked the appointment has appeared here. And then Dr. Kate can either decide to either to approve or to decline the appointment. And so for now, I'm going to approve the appointment. So if this appointment is being approved, you see, it wrote um, appointment approved. So let's go over to the 
patient um, dashboard, that's uh, Mr. Nat's dashboard, and then Mr. Nat can be able to now, you see, you see, Dr. Kate, this, uh, this is the appointment um, details, you see, appointment, full name, Dr. Kate, the appointment date, the appointment time, appointment status, now the patient can, can also cancel this appointment if he wants, then um, the patient cannot just message the personnel directly without making payment consultation fee. And so let's make some uh, a consultation fee. So when it clicks on payment, uh, it said kindly note that the consultation fee of twenty thousand euro will be charged from your account. Click continue to pro to proceed with payment. And so when he clicks on continue, a confirmation page will come will pop up for the patient to confirm the details. So once they click on payment, so pay. Now you see the payment is successful. So you see payment successful, payment status paid. Now the patient can comfortably message the doctor here. So let's head over to Dr. Kate's um, dashboard. Now, when Dr. Kate uh, uh, logs in, Dr. Kate can be able to view recent appointments, which she does not have, can be able to view the client appointment, which she does not have. Now, can also be able to uh, view her approved appointments. And now, when an appointment is approved and the patient pays, now Dr. Kate can be able to now uh, view the medical records of the patient that, she, that the patient provided. So, if he views here, he will see all the medical records that the patient uh, provided here. So upon this, um, upon this medical details, can now be able to message the, the personnel. So now you can now be able also see uh, these um, payment histories here, and also be able to see review. So for now, there's no review. So let's uh, head over to Nat's um, dashboard and then make a review so if i click on submit it says review success uh, submission was successful now let's head over to dr nat's um dashboard and now dr nat can now be able to see the person that made review and then can be able to view the review be made. And when you go over to the home page, you will be able to see all the review. You see, the review here is Dr. Nat, and the person that made the review is um, Nat, and then the review message. Now, let's see what happens when um, a patient tries to book appointment and then the medical personnel declines the appointment. So now you see that any patient that logs in and then searches for a cardiology and then Dr. Kate's, uh, Dr. Kate's comes up, now the patient can be able to view the reviews that other patients has made. So let's view this. You see that we have seen the person that, that made the review and the review message. So if the patient is convinced, he can now be able to, to proceed further to booking appointments and then So let's book an appointment. So I booked another appointment, and then then Dr. Kate can now view recent appointment. And if he sees this, Dr. Kate can choose to decline this appointment. So when Dr. Kate declines the appointment, he will now provide she will provide a reason as to why she declined the appointment. Uh, let's say. Um, I will not be. I'll say. I will not be. I will say. I will not be available. And then once she sends the message, the personnel, the patient will be able to now see. You see this appointment now this second appointment is declined 
So the patient can be able to see the reason why the feedback from the doctor, why the appointment was declined. Then if he or she wants, he can just delete, can just delete the, the appointment. And then, so that's all about the patient's dashboard. So over there in the personnel dashboard, the personnel can be able to, as I shared, view recent appointments, also view declined appointments. Now over to the admin. Now going to the admin, you see that the KYC here is approved. Now, if Dr. Kate um, um, happens to fought from our, our terms and condition, the admin can choose to restrict her from accessing the platform. So when Dr. Kate logs out, because the, a restriction has been placed on her account, she cannot be able to, to log in again. You see, your account has been restricted. So let's, um, let's remove the restriction and then try logging in again. So you see that she has successfully logged in into her dashboard. And so let's um, log out. So that's all about the uh, um, Smart Hospital application. Thank you.